All right. Yeah. Well, 20, 20 accelerators, too damn much. <laughs> no, to self, 20 too much. Yeah. <laughs> Those don't launch you to the edge of the map and kill you. Those launch you to the edge of existence and kill everything. Uh, <laughs> so, re- remind me again. How did Miller crash the game? <laughs> he exited the Matrix. Uh, I, I had a cannon that had way too many accelerators on it uh, and it basically broke the physics system because I was just going too fast for the game to keep up you ended time I ended time and space itself <laughs> uh, this is where I will take my exit from my stream thank you guys for watching the finale to Satisfactory and uh, if you guys want to continue watching, I will be continuing to hang out on Rick's stream at twitch.tv slash Rick Griffin, where we'll be playing some more Black Sad. I mean, Blackbone. I mean, Backbone. <laughs> wow. You gotta grow a backbone for this game. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Have a good night. Have a good night. Oh. Wait. Not wait. you. What did I say? <laughs> I was saying goodbye to my stream. Yeah, I was gonna say. Ah. It, it, the logic of my brain just now? Ah. There it goes. And you acknowledge that this game exists now. Okay. That is the slight disadvantage to OBS. Oh, is it? Uh... It doesn't have, like, it's uh, auto game automatic recognition isn't quite as good as XSplit, and XSplit messes up a lot anyway. Yeah. Okay. That's fair. Uh, let me change this over in the category. Man, oh man, shit. It's... Tell people. And switch it over to Backbone. Okay. Here, if you want it. Uh, Frederick says that Stoker just reported he's in the middle of a blackout. Ooh. He has something. Yeah, something happened. Um, he mentioned that earlier. Yikes. Hopefully he's okay. starting over at the beginning of this section. Didn't give me an option to save any later. <laughs> oh, we didn't see the bad joke. Oh, it's me. Here we are. Gas down. Shepherd almighty. What a swanky place. I did this last time, so... Be cool to live here, huh? Oh yeah. <laughs> Maybe if I sold my kidney, or you go on and bother folks, then I'm gonna get some quality Anatoly chill time. When's your truck coming? Soon, I hope. It'll be here before you know it. Bring me a magazine or a paper while you're at it. See what I can do. Thanks. It's so hot and I'm so lazy. You're telling me. Gas town. You want to bring him a book on power dynamics? <laughs> uh, hotel. Okay. Davio Din Hotel. Wait. Not for the likes is of that, me. Is that a cast place? Oh, no, they're yo yo's. Okay. Playing with yo yo's. Let me pull up the cast list. Stoker's not here, so, uh. Miller have to be his understudy. That is smoke. Wait, I'm his understudy? Yes, really? You, you don't think Jack. it'd be the other way around? Because you're oh. the little kid. I'm all oh. out. Hey, go buy some. Bye, then. <laughs> wow. Harsh. Good afternoon. Oh, oh, no, you have it, Jonas. Good afternoon, young lad. Good afternoon. How are the pigeons doing? They're good, thank you for asking. They know me better than anyone by now. 
How long have you been feeding them? Now, I came out here every day, have done for the last five years, and I must say I enjoy the peace and quiet. Sure you don't want some company? My feathered friends are company. Doesn't the conversation get a bit one-sided? There's a difference between loneliness and solitude, young fella. Enlighten me. Loneliness is a yearning, an emptiness. Solitude is space to be yourself, to know yourself, to love yourself. You're getting very introspective here. <laughs> <laughs> I want someone other than myself to know me. Keep your eyes peeled, young lad. You never know when that someone will appear. Don't miss them. Why are you doing the voices? You're getting very quiet for some reason, but that might be because the music's too loud. Me? Everybody. Um, <laughs> yeah, hold on, let me, I'm gonna, um, let me crank my levels just a smidge. Okay. I don't want to go too high. This thing clips pretty easily. No, you're not lonely ever. I am solid cuteness. Of course, every now and then I wonder if there is someone out there who could be solitudinous with me. Anyone in mind? Just someone gentle and quiet with an interesting story. Noted. <laughs> It was pleasant meeting you. Good day, young sir. You too. Bye. <laughs> e pigeons. Huh. Oh, classic. <laughs> yeah, Eight that's clock. very classic. Grandfather Steam watching over Gastown as always. Keep it up, old man. Wait, that reminds me. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Ooh, Renee. Who's speaking, please? Who's Renee? <laughs> um, the fox. Just you. <laughs> now the option to mess with her. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's do it. Miss Wilson, it's your lucky day. You've won a brand new toaster. Uh, is that you, Howard? No, this is <laughs> Ron's Toaster Emporium. <laughs> I'm busy. What you should be. What do you need? Wait, is this line secure? I take precautions, so sure. As long as you're calling me from a public terminal, I know if anything was listening in. So what's up? Can we go over my options? Discuss this. You need to track the delivery from the place and find out who's buying the boxes. This is my time to shine. What's that the box? Positive mental attitude, exactly. Call me once you know more, and don't end up in a box yourself. I'll be in touch. You had an exclamation point. That's okay. progress. Turn master down a little bit more. Yeah, this is totally something I want to get someday now. This is awesome. Harold. Hmm. Now I... But where did... No, I... But where did... <clears throat> Can I help you? Yes, thank you. Wait, no, I know what I need to do. Diabetes. Most of the young people have no patience. Now, if I dropped it here... What did you lose? I dropped my ring. Glasses, slipper thing. Sure, you dropped it right here? I think so. Through this grate, I think. I lost my keys like that once. Had to smash in my window. Girls, I'm gross. They should have nets. So irresponsible. 
I know, man. So, it just slipped off your finger. My slur. Sometimes I find myself turning it without even realizing. Could you have dropped it elsewhere? I suppose. But I thought I heard a clink. Want me to look around? I may not be my crime, but I ring that ring back. If I can get down this manhole. Surely it's not worth a broken neck. But without it, what if I forget? About what? About Irma. How long were you married? <sighs> not long enough. But even one day was enough to change my life. You're going to make me cry. <laughs> I don't want memories to fade. Objects uh, help. I... Don't you have anyone to talk about her with? No. Just me for 17 years. I do miss having someone to share an afternoon with. Beat the pigeons through the crossword. You know. I gotta go. I hope you find what you're looking for. Wait, wasn't there an old lady who was feeding pigeons? Yes. <laughs> Are we gonna help him spark new love? <laughs> Everything in Gastown spark has to be clean, of course. <laughs> no point in moving away from the high street yet. Be honest. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry. Um, what is it, dear? There's a guy I think you should meet. I'm sure your heart's in the right place, but you don't need to pity me. I can't help it. It's so sad. That's quite <laughs> enough. Be on your way, whippersnapper. You're disturbing the pigeon. <laughs> Stubborn old people. Bye. No, oh, no. <laughs> they will forever be star-crossed. No! I could see the red string tied around their pinkies. I need yeah. a new couch, or any couch. Yeah, I'm on my smoke break. Need some company? The company of a complete stranger? Wonderful. Strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. Whatever, jeez. You're not from around here, huh? I get around. I get all over everything. Guess it wouldn't kill me to make small talk once in a while. So what's up? So, why electrics? You know where you stand with electrics, unlike everything else in this life. Electric stuff still breaks. And that's good, otherwise I'd be out of a job. You got it all figured out. Yep. What are the locals like? They're all assholes. Aren't you a local too? Yep, point proven. You own this place? Yep, yeah, but been here for a couple of years now. How are you liking it? The rent here is so steep, it'd be cheaper in West End, but half the folks there don't even have a stable supply of juice. You gotta follow the loons, I guess. Yeah, it just... It just does in my head in. I'm selling fancy new colored light bulbs, but half the population rely on candles. Is it gonna get better? Doubt it. It is what it is. Yes, but why? The world could end tomorrow, and there's nothing you can do. Ever think about that? Graham. I do. All the time. Yeah. Brings a person down. I'll leave you to it. Ooh. Ooh. 
bad old pooty tats. Remember, you gotta play it smooth. Smooth like peanut butter. Oh, done, Gramps. See you next week. I thought we were going to see them again. <laughs> Who's Lewis? Oh, um... Oh, it's me. Um, what voice? Uh, hello, name's Lewis. What can I do for you on this fine day? You sell Starling Cider. Of course, my friend. But if you want refreshing, perhaps I can recommend you my very own light stout. I have apple, cherry, and blueberry-infused varietals. And I love Starling Cider the most. And you just got a fresh delivery. Ah, uh, well, but, but I have some in stock already. It's perfectly good. You let me buy it fresh from the crate. I'll make it worth your while. Uh, I, I, I really appreciate your enthusiasm, but I'd have to uh, uh, t take inventory, and uh, there's, there's, there's bookkeeping. Why so flustered, Lewis? Something wrong? Sir, this is, this is my shop. I, I won't be harangued. I, I won't be harangued like this in my own shop. Now please, purchase something or leave immediately. Hmm. I don't like either of these. I just yeah. want to keep harassing him. <laughs> nice. He'll break. They all do. Should I just tell him I'm a private investigator or tell him I'm a journalist? I, I don't think either go... one would be good. <laughs> See, now it'd be impressive if you had picked up Renee's book and you're like, I'm a journalist. Oop. He's like, oh yeah, what have you written? And you just oh, come like, on. drop her the name of her book. Okay, so he chose a journalist. Okay. In truth, I'm a journalist. Few questions and I'm gone, okay? Oh, um, a journalist. There's nothing, but it, it will make, if it will make you happy, leave me alone. Have you heard of Clar Clarissa Bloodworth? Uh, I've heard of her. Who hasn't? She owns that bar. The bite, I think it's called. You ever met her? No. God, she's not the sort of person, the kind of person you just run it to. Where are you buying those crates from? Just my usual wholesale supplier. I'd, I'd love to sell, only sell my own brews, but sadly people are slow to love them. If they had more taste, then... then... Not having money problems, are you, Lewis? It's just a little, a little slow, but the parade will make up for it. All these parties, people get thirsty. Got any buyers for those crates? I, I mean, I haven't, I haven't even unpacked them, I told you, but, you know, how about a free sample of my own porter? Are you really trying to pay me off with hooch? Goodness, no, I'm, I'm just being hospitable. A drink to smooth things over always helps. Okay, now we're going to get serious. What's in the crates, Lewis? You talk, or bad things will happen. Sir, please, I, I don't know what you want to hear, but this, this shop is my life. I'm a rational guy, Lewis. This could be painless. Talk about what? You, you wouldn't understand. I mean, if, if there was something. Let's mm. see. Angry or reassuring? Or just say, I'm in for blood, and you'll be safe. <laughs> blood worth? Hmm. You'll be safe. I'm not going to promise that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have to do this alone. In, in, in what? Even if, even if my position is unique, it's not fair. You have no idea. Help me understand. I'm on Team Lewis. You'll just make things worse. Yeah. Yeah, having to make promises here. No. <laughs> yeah. I know what I'm doing and I hate Clarissa. I suppose if you found a way into the storage room after I dropped this 
Hey. I'll take a Ooh. look. Don't go anywhere. Hmm. Hey, friend. I'm Doran Tuna. I give you fun facts whenever you press my button. Go ahead. Press it. Do it. Do it. Do now. They close but in crate. <laughs> I really don't want to open this. Great has not opened itself. <laughs> Look at the lid. Lid doesn't appear to have a lock on it, and there's no obvious way to open it. Punch the lid. Think about the box hard. This crate is what you've been looking for. Uh, part of you didn't want to find it. Now you found it. Good job. Punish the crate. <laughs> <laughs> Punish the crate. Punish the crate. You slam a fist in the crate. It barely notices, but the lid does pop slightly out of its resting place. Hand aches, but you're proud of your masculinity. Expect the lid. Run your fingers carefully across each edge of the lid. At one point, there's a tiny recess in the side. Lever up the lid. Little effort, the lid pops out from its groove. Look inside. Beneath the lid are small, a number of small packages individually wrapped in thick silvery paper. Come on, oh, don't puke yeah. again. You can do this. Unwrap a package. You peel back a layer of the silvery paper to reveal a neat square of flesh. Mmm. Bam. Expect the flesh. The flesh is light pink. With a straighted texture. Now, oh, we're not backing out. Come on, sniff the flesh. There's a melange of intoxicating scents, sweet fatty with notes of acidic tang. Fuck this, I've seen enough. <laughs> I guess he hasn't grown a backbone yet. Yes. Jonas. Oh, sorry. So you saw it. Illegal fish fillets. It's a dangerous black market. I think I don't know what fish smells like. Ah, some don't smell as fishy as you think. When did you find out what was in the crates? Only recently. I was told not to look, but I had to know. If only I hadn't, then I could just pretend. Tell me everything. No one else will give you this chance. But but if she finds out I told anyone, I'll get thrown over the wall. Do you understand? If you tell us all, I'm worse than dead. How did you end up with boxes full of flesh, Lewis? I, I didn't have a choice. Fate has conspired against me. Fate is an excuse, you know that. It's just, why me? Why her? Neither of us did anything to anyone. Just worked hard and paid our taxes. It's the damn city's fault. Why didn't her... Why isn't her medicine free? Probably because life is horribly unfair. Miss Bloodworth is keeping my sister alive, you see. She pays the medical bills. I even thought about selling the shop, but the loans wouldn't have lasted. People in those boxes had families, too. I know, and the thought haunts me, but Leia is my family. How could I choose anything else over her? My name is Howard, by the way. Well, Howard, I don't know about you, but I need a stiff drink. Thanks, but I'll pass. Oh, no, he's crying! Oh, <laughs> oh God. He, he's drinking, like, vodka. Rick, why did you do that to that poor guy? You're a monster. Howard has to start Why are you playing boost? Rick? <laughs> <laughs> You're missing out, but fine by me. How do you do with the boxes? Nothing. I just look after them until they're re-delivered. Delivery? A woman calls, asks for the usual. I get one of my boys to deliver the crate to her. I was instructed not to ask questions. 
Which boy? Joey. He doesn't know anything, I swear. I need the delivery address. Her name is Bajwa. That's all I can tell you, sir. I can write down the address for you with my head if Bloodworth hears of this. Your secret is safe with me, promise. Thank you for understanding and listening. Thank you, Lewis. I have to go now. Mm. Go! What are you going to do? I'm going Ooh. to slap, stop Bloodworth. I don't think you can. It's just not that bad. She does a lot of good, I swear. Perhaps. Just, please, swear you won't tell anyone about this. I can't bear to live in any more fear. I won't. You... Thank you. Shepard guides you. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> Grim. Are you a fate uh, believer or a non-believer, Rick? Or Lois? Or Howard, sorry. Yeah, we just have to pop off a single a one liner right at the end, so he doesn't give a fuck. We're on our own. I think it's time you left, sir. One last question: When is Bajwa expecting delivery? Well, Joey took a crate over a few days ago. She is expecting a box of cigars today, but I'm not sure about the other crates. Tell Joey he's got the day off. I'll take the cigars. Uh, you can't! They'll suspect. If it gets back to me, Leia. This won't get back to you. Give me the cigars. Hey, fine. I, I can't stop you. My life might be worthless, but other people will suffer if you're not careful. Other people are already suffering. Stay safe, Lewis. Yeah. Lewis just trying to be optimistic, Rick. Jeez. And then suddenly everybody dies. He's trying to be careful. Yeah. Because he's a wuss. Yeah. Uh-oh. He's down And he's crying again. again. Yep. Howard didn't even Good use luck, him. Good Lewis. I should call Renee. Oh, it's night time. How long has that been going on for? Wow. Miss Tilly. Okay. Can I help you? Just saying hi. Miss, that's the guy Lily. that tried... Oh. Who was Lily? Lily was GC. Oh, miss, that's the guy I tried to sell smokes. More like refused to. Don't worry, sir. Lily has a nasty picture for Phoebe. One of the playtours of reasons to see me after school, young lady. Go easy on her. It's a tough age to be. I said you to try and protect her, but you leave that to me. Good point. I don't envy you. Being a teacher has certain challenges, and more every day, it seems. Oh, yeah? Like what? It doesn't behoove one to complain about their station in life. Go ahead, live a little. State spending on schools has flatlined. Living costs keep increasing. I'm a teacher, but it seems like I spent half my time balancing the books instead. So, what are you actually achieving? Being there for the children. Many of them don't have any other guidance in their life. So you'll never try anything different? Giving up just because something is hard is not a valid answer. Sure it is. Watch me. You. GC. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Renee. 
Got a new lead. Ah, I'm listening. Lady named Bajwa is the buyer. Any idea who she is? Not yet. She puts a call. She puts in a call to the shop, and the boxes get delivered from there. Did you learn where? B50 West Georgia Street. Ring a bell. An address in the tops. Interesting. Feels like heading over for a house call. Heck yeah, I love peeking into people's windows. Hmm. Might not be the best of to just barge in and confront her. I have a delivery for her. Ooh, good idea. But that won't get you into the apartment. Maybe she'll invite me in for tea. Maybe. Serve with a slice of flesh cake. Renee, that's disgusting. Get <laughs> on with it. I'm going, I'm going. <laughs> okay. You're doing great. Call me after to head straight home, okay? Oh? Well, it is where you live now. Right. Speak soon. Giving you the boots, good sir. As Frederick says that you should talk to that fish in his shop, uh, something amusing will happen. <laughs> Eggs are very nutritious as well as a great way to decorate your home. Plants emit an ultrasonic sound when injured or under stress. It's like they're screaming. Beavers eat a million pizzas a day. God, it's like the fact. No one thinks about you as much as you do. Rocks are old. Very old. One third of your life is spent working. Lobsters are illegal. You will cry on average 64 liters of tears during your lifetime. Hiccups serve no purpose but to annoy you. Your memories are not objective facts. They can also change over time without you noticing. Staring at yourself in a mirror is not healthy. At <laughs> one point, you are the youngest person to exist. What? When you drink from a cup, a little bit of your spit goes in the cup, and that's gross. The color you see in the dark is called intrinsic gray. The louder you speak, the more correct your opinion is. <laughs> There's mm. always the last time you see anyone. What do you call a fish with no eyes? Fish. <laughs> You're saving all your money for a time when your brain is ready to enjoy it, but your body is not. Everything in the universe is either a tree or not a tree. If you think about it, the brain named itself. Your skeleton is moist. Because of unfortunate rep uh, repetitional semantics, a poo-poo is mo mostly less offensive than a pee-pee. <laughs> Teeth are edible. One day you'll hug your friends for the last time and you might not know it. <laughs> wow. Having a headache is generally a symptom of leading a very, very sinful life. Oh, wow. <laughs> you can never completely know someone. People who sneeze loudly are just looking for attention. You can't extend short things. You were once a baby. Paying rent is one of the sneakiest forms of oppression. On average, people don't know what they're talking about. Wow. You were born alone. You will die alone. Goodbye. Oh, wow. Okay. And then okay. it explodes. Right. <laughs> ex <laughs> yeah, that was funny. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, okay. That was, that was something. They was sure had a lot of quotes for us. Terrifying. <laughs> Deli shop. Who's gonna be this? Oh. Um. Welcome! Can I interest you in some honey nut glazed apple sticks? You got red apple cigs. Sure you do. Three loans, loons for a pack of ten. I'll take them, thanks. Here you, here you go. That'll be three loons, thanks. I'm looking for something fresh and seasonal. Well, I did finally get a new shipment of tomatoes and dry onions. Finally. 
It's been unseasonably cold. Slow down the growth of the lights of the crops with the greenery. The apes are taking care of it, they say. Oh, I didn't hear about that. Right. News about suboptimal agricultural output rarely makes the front page. Hmm. Is it serious? We should be fine. It's just we're so reliant on the agriculture and the greenery. So fresh stuff is going to be a little more expensive for a while. Got any Starling Cider? Sure. We got regular, red berry, and pear. Expecting delivery today. I've got plenty of each in stock. Why do you ask? Hmm? Just curious. Do you sell anything special? What you see is what you get. It's all quality produce. Thank you. Goodbye. Ocean Crunchies. Good for the munchies. <laughs> Doesn't look too fresh. This be the way? No, we already know it's not. We already did that. Hey, it's Mo. Have you ever played Mo? Yeah, no. Bo. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can't you see I'm shuffling up shop? How are you, Bo? Who's Bo? I'm Mo. Sure thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> he told you he's not Bo. He's Mo. It's like that one Simpsons episode where Mo, Mo was like, nah, this isn't Mo's tavern. You reached uh, Mo's cavern. <laughs> I like how I remember that after like 20 years. Simpsons does that to you. Yeah. Still don't know who Bajwa is. I was really actually hoping for it to be a disappearing scene. Oh, like a screen transition? Well, somebody picks up Howard while doing that. You're coming with us. Maybe call Renee again? I don't know if that'll help. Oh, no, no. Same stuff. I didn't go back into the bookshop or anything. Closed. Ooh. Are we completely out of leads then? You know what impresses me about this game is like you don't quite know what time period it's set in. It's kind of ambiguous. It looks mostly like a noir game with like you know fifties and sixties stuff, but it, but then there are like elements, design elements that look distinctly modern, like some of the signs and such. Mm -hmm. I really appreciate that. <laughs> was was up, bro? Tendo. Let's drive, Tolly. Yes, where to? Tops, let's go. Tops. Ha! Who needs them? <laughs> What's new, Chief? Did you crack the case yet? No. Got a big lead, though. Ah, lead on, partner. It sounds like this is a bigger deal than usual. You're, uh, being careful, right? Relax. Not about to deprive you of your best customer. Best friend? Sure. But if you're my best customer, how come you do not tip? Because best friends don't need to tip, Anatoly. It'd be impolite. Polite? Huh. I didn't realize you were part of high society, Howie. You're fixing to become a minister. Just watch the road, huh? Look at this one. 
Welcome to the Blue Falls building. My name is Finn. I'm afraid we have a strict policy of only admitting visitors who have been pre-invited. Have a delivery for Miss Bajwa. Ah, uh, yes. There's a delivery boy on the list. She's in apartment 1144, 11th floor. How do you like working here? It's a wonderful building. I'm lucky to work in such a good neighborhood. And what do you get for it? You want me to say I live in the basement? Would that make you happy? No, it'd make me sad. <laughs> yeah, well, you asked for it. So, how's the basement? <laughs> it saves me the commute and rent. One day, I'll have enough for deposit in gas town. Wise move. Stay strong. I fully intend to. I'm off. People to see. Deliveries to deliver. Nikki. Hey, what do I look like to you? I'm sorry. What? <laughs> you heard me, fool. You look like a patent lawyer. Oh, I am hurt. That's real cruel. A lawyer? Fuck. What'd you mean to look like? Wouldn't you like to know? I'm not so sure I do. <laughs> what are you saying, punk? I'm not worth your time. I'm not interesting enough for you. I'm sure you're fascinating. I'm just busy. Ha ha. I'm just fucking with you, fool. Who are you anyway? Just a humble delivery guy. What are you delivering? Anything I'd like? Cigars. Oh, nice. What's the brand? I have no idea. Let me take a look and I'll tell you. I shouldn't. The client might notice. Reckon you could spare one for me? I'm not sure that's a good idea. Don't you know who I am? The one who likes sticking their nose into other people's business. It's my business to know the business of others. It's my business to not let weird wolves make me late. <laughs> ha! Ha! You got moxie, fool. I like someone who can make me laugh. You're hired. Uh... What? <laughs> ha! 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 Come on, baby. I'm just playing. The look on your face, though. I'll bite. Who am I talking to? The name's Nicky. People call me the Wolf. Even your mom? Oh, you're bringing my mother into this? Do you want to die? This guy's just blasting hot air, so I'm just gonna mess with him. <laughs> Unless you insist. <laughs> my mother is everything to me. Moms are cool. <laughs> Amen to that. Here's the moms. Here, here. I'm sure she's very proud of you. I don't see a fool like you around here often. <laughs> it's probably because I shouldn't be here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're a real big shot. Oh, yeah. If you ask nicely, I can get you on the wolf hotness level, fool. So it's like uh, eighty percent of the random conversations in this game just flirting with people. <laughs> yes. <laughs> flirting with a raccoon. <laughs> Howard is canonically bisexual, so <laughs> I'm doing fine down here at my own level. All right, I can tell your heart's not into it. Go on, off with you. Bye, you absolute uh, weirdo. Leave, but remember me, baby. I don't think I have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> Baby. These plants look better than most people I know. Definitely me. <laughs> Concierge said 11th floor. Residence of Evil. Floor 20 committee meeting this Friday. Anything else? Someone recommended me a new masseuse. Chet, apartment 18. 
You really see an air bite on him on this level. It's like a fire escape. Probably have to use this. <laughs> yeah. I expect this yeah. to go very badly. So. Yeah. <laughs> Miss Bajwa. Who wants to call that one? No. <laughs> Miss Bajwa, I've got a delivery for you. Move! The cigars! Right here, just what the doctor ordered. Indeed! Where's Joey today, then? Ah, uh, you miss Joey, huh? Do not presume to ask me such personal questions. You can go now. Sorry, was the price already agreed? I have an arrangement with Lewis. It's taken care of. Oh, of course. My mistake. Apologies, Miss Bajwa. It's new trouble. How will you ask Lewis for another special case in a couple of weeks? I'll pass on the message. Will there be anything else? That's all. But I take this for take this for your trouble. Much obliged. Have a lovely afternoon. You too. Goodbye. I want to ask any feedback on the last delivery. Stop praying. You can leave now. Fine. Bajwa is just the maid. Find out who the apartment really belongs to. You might use the fire escape to still. Use the fire escape or. Or take the elevator. No, oh, it can't take the elevator, apparently. It wants us to use a fire escape. Not sure why. I think uh, they're giving the option for the door, though, to be able to take the more, I should say, direct approach. Oh, I see why now. We're going to be peeking into windows. Yep. Can't reach it. Damn my short arms. And yet he can jump on there. <laughs> Canadian goose up there. <laughs> wow. I didn't know this. Wow, it is. Just in case you forgot you're in Canada. It looks cozy inside. Okay, I'm being creepy. <laughs> Rella. So, Rick, how does it feel to voice a Canadian? <laughs> You know, I haven't given anyone a Canadian accent. Guess I should get rid of it. My pockets are too small. Oh, that's the wrong way. Come on, you know I didn't mean that. Throw away the umbrella. Screw you, umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday. What did umbrella ever do to you? So you look so strange from up here. That it's easy to forget real people are struggling down below. Now I'm probably going to start a pharmaceutical company. <laughs> He's a good boy. You're a good boy. <laughs> pet the goose. Can you pet the goose? Uh, we pet, pet the goose. goose. I, th I think this game was featured on Can You Pet the Dog? <laughs> yeah, I don't think we had, we had enough but seagulls down here where I'm at. <laughs> Should be right outside the back of the maid's apartment. Who really lives here? It's closed on a latch. Oh wait, it's actually open the tiniest bit. I had something thin enough to slide through and lift. Well, shit, I don't have anything. Looks like there are renovations going on. Maybe I can find some kind of tool nearby. Buddy knife.
Who's Cersei? Hey, I'll go for it. Hey, stranger. It's not what you think it is. <laughs> I don't want to know. Saw you claiming. Nice moves. Yep, been training. It shows on your butt. Been a while since I heard that. That's too bad. I'll tell you that every day. <laughs> that would be lovely. Is that catnip you're smoking? Yep. Want some? Would love to, but busy. Sure. Bye, baby doll. Bye, gorgeous. <laughs> was uh, a little awkward. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's try this again. Bet the putty knife is thin enough to fit. Okay, just about. Easy now. Lift the latch and boom. We can lever it open enough to climb through. <laughs> no one inside. Fuck, Howard, you're at it again. Trying second craziest thing I've ever done, just this week alone. Way in over my head. Need to figure out quickly figure out who lives here and run. And this drinker. Is upsettingly tasteful. Expensive looking knowledge. Ah, not this guy. Maybe some book secretly opens a hidden room? Hmm. Uh, it doesn't look uh, like it. Nope. I'm curious what the first uh -oh. is. Oh. Okay. They're apes. Ah, oh, apes. Oh, oh, hello, mister. Are you lost? Nope. I'm totally meant to be here. That's strange. Why have I never seen you before? I mean, why would you have? Daddy always tells me to take notice of the staff. You notice me. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> you look funny. Funny weird or funny ha-ha? <laughs> You're strange one, aren't you? You got no idea of normal, kid. <laughs> so, what are you doing? I'm an admin assistant. Daddy says administration is the key to governance. Always leaves like a paper... Always leave it a paper trail, he says. It's governance, kid. I know that. I'm not dumb. Tell me about your dad. My father is the research and development secretary. He's the secretary of research and development. What about your mom? Fine keeps the house and helps father with the paperwork. Is she happy? Of course she is. Always. She has everything. And me. That's what she tells you, huh? Theodosia. I'm his dad. Classic. I'm sorry to hear that, kid. When I grow up, I'm never going to do any work. Worst thing is, it's probably true. <laughs> when I grow up, I will have hundreds of assistants. Real noble ambition there. They will be lucky and happy to work for me. Hmm. Can I ask a favor? Yeah, it's Daddy says a single favor can be priceless, but more than one makes you worthless. I will owe you both one great big fat favor. What said, it um, depends. Oh. What do you want? My boss oh, will be angry I'm talking to you. Let's keep it a secret. Yes, yes because, because you... you're being lazy instead of working. I'm Jebediah, you're Theodora. There yeah, we go. Yeah, sorry. Exactly, <laughs> and I need this job to pay for stuff. Our stuff is better, and we didn't have to work for it. 
We win. Look, the grown-ups will be angry at you, too. No, they won't. But would they? Spending time with a peasant like me? Oh, they'll be pissed. <laughs> hmm. But it could be fun to watch it get shouted at. I can do that, too, you know. Shout! And what do you think they'll say to you afterwards? Nothing. I'm Daddy's favorite. Well, what about you, boy? I do hate it when Daddy shouts. What are you doing in here, anyway? We stuck in here. What are your parents doing? They're eating dinner. We had ice cream already, so we're not hungry. I won't snitch if you won't. Fine. You got yourself a deal, mister. Theo, take a peek. Can we sneak out? No, you peek. I don't wanna. I can do it. Thanks, mister. Favor repaid. Sure. Excuse me. Ooh. Let's see. I got apes and lions. Sinister lying. And then... And there's some cannibalism. Yep. I'll say he's gonna. I'm gonna say he's gonna puke. Yeah, oh, Is it clear? Can we go now? Did you see anything strange while sneaking through the dining room? We were in sneaky mode. Couldn't look much. Do you know any of the names of the grown-ups? No. I can't tell them apart anyway. They all dress and talk the same. Hmm. <laughs> There's something they don't want you to know. A grown-up secret? We're old enough to know secrets. Tell us! They're eating You're a new kind eat. of food in there. <laughs> new? I want to try. <laughs> this is fucked up. Yes, it is. Well, we're d we went down this road. Yeah, I'm having a hard time with this. That, I'm leaning toward number three. Ask your parents about it. <laughs> What's it called? The mula. Monkey butter gun. <laughs> Flamula. <laughs> we go Flamula. I did eat. Delicious! I'm excited. Also, some th some things can only be appreciated by grown-ups. That's true. Most people can't appreciate the best things. Daddy told you that too. Yeah, and he's never wrong. I'm sure he's not. I'd better be going now. Thanks, Mister. Come on, Theo. Later's. I also like that there was a choice there to make it sound like it's a grown-up thing, yet you're talking to a grown-up. Where's the logic in that? Desk is made out of a beautiful, expensive, solid wood. I feel like the world could be run from behind this desk. A pile of papers. Quick glance reveals stacks of various documents, letters, and notes, all with annoyingly small print. Grab the papers. Right, the name of the owner of this study should be in there somewhere. No time to look through them. Sniff the desk. Wood has been perhaps rubbed with scented oil, redolent of citrus and smoke. It smells of power and success. 
feel the desk. It feels like a desk, but I wish you could run your hands over its silky grain every day. There's the desk, there are a few closed drawers, an empty mug, a chunky book, and nothing else of note. Search for the compartments. Back the book. Copy of Nature Within Us by Jordan Rain it Rained. I don't even want to look at it. Huh? Read the back book. book. In this seminal advocacy of pure reason, individualism, and power, Rain treads new ground towards a truly utopian society. Oh. I get the feeling I know what kind of book this is. It's one of those oh, hateful books rain. masquerading yeah, as rain. egalitarian yeah. philosophy that fascists love. Open the drawers. They're locked. Whoever owns this desk taking no chances. Search for hidden compartments. Never seen a desk with a secret compartment, but that doesn't stop you from hoping. You find nothing. Give up on finding cool secret compartment. <laughs> Time and a place for fantasizing about secret compartments. Take the mug. Plain, mu plain white mug with Father of the Year written on big red letters. Stop searching the desk. Too risky to search more thoroughly. Someone might come at any moment. The kids. Oh. oh, we're back in Renee's place. Are you ready to start? Let's do it. All right. So you barged into someone's study and stole a bunch of papers. Correct. What were you thinking? They were there, so I took them. Well, let's see what we got here. Could you read out loud? I think best with my eyes closed. Daddy, I love you very much. Please give me money for boat. <laughs> <laughs> What are we looking for? We need to find out who was buying flesh from Clarissa, whose apartment you were in. Let's call him the buyer for now. Yeah, which one do I read first? Start small. Something that looks personal. Maybe handwritten? Oh, here's one. The handwritten note on a scrap of yellow sticky paper. Chief Tanner. Chief oh. Tanner, Jeez. I have a priority order for you. Your head of biochemistry will now report directly to me. Burn after reading. Yeah, it says she's reading it. <laughs> Let's analyze this. Something specific caught your eye? Chief Tanner. Yeah. Who is that guy? Tanner guy is ahead of something. That's right. I think our answer to what might be in the same note. Head of biochemistry. What are you thinking? Biochemistry probably means a well-equipped lab. Good point. And you can only find those in Science City. Report directly to me. Mm -hmm. Give that order, you need serious authority. You're right. Maybe the highest. Okay, let's try to draw a conclusion. Chief Tanner must be managing the head of biochemistry, who probably works in Science City. Who's the buyer then? <laughs> the president. <laughs> Mm. Science City. I, hmm. I say head of Science City too. Head of Science City. No, that's Chief Tanner. Above him is only one guy. You stole these papers from the Science Minister. Good job, Hammers. Shit, do I have to return them? No, that, they're yours now. So the science minister is buying flesh from Clarissa. 
What is she gaining from this? Let's see if we can figure that out next. I'm right here with you. Let's read on. Handwritten memo. Oh, we already read that. R&D report. Official looking report on Science City branded paper. Research project number 76 slash 5B. Introductory report. Minister, protein analysis of the new sample is underway. Sample possesses hitherto uncatalogued genes whose functions will require time to isolate via RNA tracking. This can't be rushed, as I've said before. Please have patience. Hmm. Let's look closely what at this. What shall we focus on? And catalog genes. Sounds important, right? They're developing new technology. I mean, sure, but how can you find new genes? Protein analysis of the new sample. You understood that? Biochemistry stuff. I'm impressed. Yes, proteins and RNA are genetic terms. And our minister hired a biochemist, remember? This can't be rushed, as I've said before. It must be the biochemist he hired for writing this. Biochemist is deliberately going slow. I'd say it's more he's being hassled. Sounds like the minister's being impatient. Look at other papers. Okay. Envelope containing a single sheet of high-quality paper with neat handwriting and signature. <laughs> Dear friend, I will of course attend our monthly celebration. I can't wait to see what delicacy you've prepared for us this time. T.N. Let's analyze this. What line do you want to discuss? A delicacy you've prepared. What is he talking about? Flesh. Howard, they're eating people. Our monthly celebration. What are they celebrating? Then monthly celebration. I mean, one and three are about the same. Uh, they get richer and more powerful each month. <laughs> Bastards. Dear friend. Who is TN? TN! Isn't that the president? Theodore Nashville? Are you fucking kidding me? No way. We're done with this document. Uh, watch it turn out to be the president. Yeah. Briefing log. Another dossier with a golden city emblem engraving. There are a few pages inside. My right honorable ministers, I wanted to summarize my official recommendations on new street drug in circulation named Monkey Butt. Despite the insulting name, I don't believe it to possess significant addictive qualities. There's no widespread risk to public health, so criminalization is not warranted. I will continue to monitor the situation with the cooperation of the police. Your dossier includes a detailed toxicology breakdown. Let's analyze this. Where do we start? No widespread risk to the public health. Do you believe him? He's manipulated the test results. Right. We know that he has access to a laboratory. All right, honorable ministers. Yeah? This report was seen by the highest level of officials. Yeah. If they accept the report, those drugs are basically legal. Criminalization is not warranted. What does this apply for Felisa? Does a recommendation benefit Clarissa? I'm trying to think into that. 
because if it's not criminalized, that means that the price would actually drop. But I mean... If monkey butt is being pushed at the bite, then yeah, that's a lot of heat off her. Let's look at other papers. Please note. Blank page of paper with a small type note. No other details or clues. Esteemed fellow minister, the recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. Don't know why you want them left alone. There's only so much we can turn a blind eye to. This becomes a scandal. It's both our asses. Fix it. Renee, any thoughts? I heard about these disappearances. I fucking knew there was a pattern. This is huge, Howard. Let's analyze this. We better look more closely at this. I don't know why you want them left alone. Why does the science minister even care? I'd say he's, he's protecting someone. He's protecting someone. Yep, definitely. Whatever the reason, he's making sure no one digs into the issue. Recent reports of disappearances from West End have a clear connection. What's the connection? One person is responsible. The minister or someone close to him could be the link. Fix it. What does he imply? I'd say the police will probably investigate soon. That's my guess, anyway. It sounds like the science minister has a way to stop the police from investigating. Yeah, he's trying to look at how to secure this in the long term. If the police are just going to keep putting heat on him, mm -hmm. then he wouldn't keep pushing for it. Good point. But the disappearances don't stop. It's somehow bad news for the science minister. Look at other papers. Letter to Daddy. It's an illustrated letter written in colored pencil. Daddy, I love you very much. Please give money for my birthday. I want to buy a lizard. Bye. It's okay. Anyway, Even when they're being raised as monsters. <laughs> Let's look more closely at that. Anything specific seems off. I want to buy a lizard. What's it tell you? I want the kid <laughs> just asked for a lizard. Business mentality. Or kid's lying and wants to buy something else with the money. I love you very much. <laughs> What's that make you think? Kid seems to love daddy. Powerful <laughs> debug to change the deck. Let's move on. <laughs> And I think that was. I was, it. Hoping, I was hoping for a sassy comment there. Yeah, I think we're done here. Right, Howard. What exactly is the relationship between Clarice and the minister? I say, well, not not dirt on her. She has dirt on him. And why is, if she has dirt on him, but she's also, like, delivering flesh to his place? Uh, I would say that's because she's trying to use him for cover, but yeah. yeah. But he's accepting it, and that would be kind of weird if they weren't just partners. Possibly, <laughs> yeah. They are partners. What does the minister want? What is he getting from all this? They're, they're lovers. <laughs> is this about flesh or is it about drugs? Uh, I would say it's flesh because... Mm, well, actually, I don't, I'm not really sure. I'd say it's flesh, though, just judging from what I'm seeing. Uh, he's, he's made the recommendation to decriminalize drugs, but that doesn't actually seem to be what he's getting from it. He's getting flesh. Yeah. Judging what you saw in the dinner RSVP, these ministers and maybe the apes are 
at large are considered low, lower class people a delicacy. Disappointed, but not surprised. <laughs> uh, Lisa is enabling this. What is she getting from it? See, I keep thinking that Clarissa is the big, uh, the big apple in this, uh, all this. So immunity. Eight ministers are a girl's best friend. If the science minister helps to protect her from the police or any other mailings in her business. Mm. And she gets to safely produce drugs. Yes, Howard. She has almost absolute power while the minister is on her side. The drugs are pretty straightforward. It's the missing people that bother me the most. Should we look into the West End thing? Yes, I'll get you the reports, names, addresses. We have to see if these people are connected to the minister or Bloodworth somehow. We'll investigate West End tomorrow. <laughs> they get one day off. <laughs> Morrow. They're moving fast. We have to act now. There must be something else we're missing. An even bigger benefit to Clarissa. Hmm. Something only an ape can give her. Maybe. But there's got to be a reason it's the science minister specifically she's working with. Science stuff, then. <laughs> that would explain why it's the science minister she's interested in. He was researching something, right? What was it again? DNA. He mentioned RNA, which interact with DNA, but the actual study was a protein functions. Science is hard. <laughs> right. <laughs> Proteins. They found new genes and a secret lab in Science City. Experimenting on aliens, definitely. <laughs> secret research only the minister and one scientist knows about. I have to say, that would actually fit in this scenario with some of the way people fought back then. But yes, I agree. It's crazy suspicious. Could Clarissa be interested in this research for her own purpose? Could be the Misty Girls while making drugs in that lab. <laughs> Might be powerful. She wants power. Whatever power is, she has to have it. We must look into it, but getting into Science City would be hard. <laughs> to the most secretive building in the city? Are you serious? I am. But first, West End. We're recovering something incredible, Howard. This partnership is working out. Yeah, we're really doing it. Oh, great. Our takeouter has arrived. Nice, I'll get it. <laughs> Howard, can you get it? <laughs> Geezer. Honk. Indeed. Honk, honk. Ah, here's your loon, buddy. Honk. Bye, free. <laughs> Pretty quick. I thought the Something store strong... delivered it. Something stronger than tea this time. Uh oh. Thought uh, you never ask. Tonight's poison is gin. You a gin man? Pour me a tall one. Gin is gross. Cheers! <laughs> You're fighting evil. <laughs> I have a feeling this isn't going to be over anytime soon, so cheers to you, Renee. To me? So... How are you feeling about the case and everything? Still can't wrap my head around it all. I know. I feel like I've never done anything more important. I'm glad you're by my side. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you, Howard. I feel like while my past work, my whole life, has been leading to this moment. Must be a champagne. Wait, it's not champagne. Is she going for him? 
same. This feels like where I meant. Feels like this is where I'm meant to be. I don't believe in fate, but some kind of cosmic poetry brought us together for this case. No, I chose you, but why me? You're a witness to how fucked up things are, and you ache for other people. Fucked up how? Clarissa isn't just a bad apple. Everything is connected. She's a symptom of a system totally rigged towards the status quo. What do you mean? Do you think it's coincidence that you found Jeremy being butchered? The rich are literally eating the poor, Howard. <laughs> That's one way to put it. I always suspected it was the case. The city is rotting from the head. If you don't see it, you're blind. So is this uh, story going to end like Fight Club? Huh. <laughs> is Renee going to lead the Fight Club? <laughs> I see this it now. When did you know? You know, I always fit in. People liked me, yet I feel disconnected. Sleepwalking. Then one day, something cracked inside of me. Ooh. What happened? Tell me. Last year, I was reporting for the City Herald, and there was an incident in West End. It made me into who I am now. What incident? Pipes burst in one of the older buildings. The tenants called sewer services. It took them three hours to arrive. People boiled alive. I tried to report on it. It got fired. What the fuck? All these people in areas like West End and Docks are invisible, neglected, and they die every day. The city is built up upon their blood. I can't take it. I have to do something. I'm so sorry. How did it make you feel? Made me cold and furious. After what you saw, I imagine you'll feel the same. I feel like I've been hit by a truck. Relatable. Are you angry? After the bite? All the time. Good. Nothing will be the same again. You won't be able to pretend to be normal anymore. I don't want to be normal anymore. Right. It's time for change. It's time to change things. Finally. I believe in us. How have you been sleeping since? I've been getting much. I had this recurring nightmare. I'm listening. I'm running through thick black mud, and then it swallows me whole. Ooh. Sounds a bit like mine. Hmm. What is it? I ship it. <laughs> I'm in my childhood house. Mm-hmm. Looking for my mom. And she's not there? There are many women. They look like her from behind when they turn around. Each one is a stranger. Damn. That's unsettling. I should call her. I'm sorry. Not your fault. Are you close with your mom? Fortunately, yes. Oh? It's complicated for me. Complicated how? It's hard to explain. She's my mom. I have to love her for that, I guess. No one is owed anything from you, especially love. Parents can be assholes, too. What's her deal? She's just been spiraling for years. She's had a hard life. My mom doesn't care what I want. I'm just something for her to project her needs onto. Do you feel guilty about it ever? No way. I'm not a therapist. I didn't ask to be born, and I refuse to shoulder the burden of her insecurities. Ooh, that's extreme. <laughs> Maybe I should try thinking like that, though. No. That's extreme. <laughs> if someone brings negativity into your life, you cut them out. Best decision I've ever made. I don't think I can do that. Do you ever feel like no one truly knows you? And nobody ever will. Right. I can only know you filtered through my own perception. That is not really you. 
Just a projection inside my head. I'm glad that I'm in your head, Renee. <laughs> Me too. Get comfortable. It's a nice place to be in. You're also in my head, height. Renee. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Are you happy? I'm not sure. I feel I'm going in the right direction. Good. Let's keep it that way. Yeah. Howard, I'm so tired. Why have I sleep here? Close your eyes. Ah. And that's it? Ah. Again. Her in. Tuck her in. Tuck her in. Yes, Tuck do it. Tuck her in. Tuck okay, her tuck in. Tuck her in. Tuck her in. Tuck her in. You saved yeah. the animals. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we saw the goat. We saved the In this case, the fox. Hey, you hiding, you <laughs> bastard. Lewis is a wreck, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for him. Because he has that effect on people. Hope he's okay, at least. Nope, he's dead. <laughs> it's a noir. Everybody we touch, everything we touch turns to shit, I'm sure. <laughs> Best and brightest minds of the city. What are you up to in there exactly? Oh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's it. How are you okay? That's on my mind. So how about you share instead, huh? It might do you and that overworked brainy or some good. Case, keep, case keeps getting bigger. Maybe I'm out of my depth, and then there's Renee, who... Ooh-wee, that lady. Ah, oh, no wonder you're daydreaming. Nothing like that. We work well together. I respect her. Yeah, good working together and mutual respect. Not bad ingredients if you're looking to cook up a little something. Something is all I'm saying. At you, Street Hawk. So when do I have a code name? Starting now, Street Hawk. Anyway, how's it been going over there? Not so great. I'm near the apartments of the last two leads now. You're already spoken to Mary, Marina, and Shelly? If get the fuck out counts as speaking to me, sure. Were you persistent? Were you charming? Did you tell him you were on their side? Tried it all, I promise. No luck at all. Damn. Well, stay positive. Maybe Beverly or Bill will talk? Maybe. I don't know. What if this what if this is a total wild geezer chase? It might be, but we won't know until we follow the leads. You should know this stuff is never handed to you on a plate. I know, I know. I really hope you're right. Two more doors, and they're in the same block of apartments. Then you can come back and put your feet up. I hope the building has an elevator. We should get you some insoles. Maybe you have high arcs. Anyway, think positive. You got this. And if I don't got this? Then we'll figure something out. Good luck. Remember to knock gently and let me know how it goes. Thanks, Renee. Talk soon. West End. West End. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Wow. Hey, now, plenty of family lives don't turn out that bad. Oh, don't say that now. <laughs> the plot thickens. That's dope. The raccoon and the fox thickens, too. Wee. No, seriously, though, I love this game. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. It's very and good. I'm looking at ooh, yes, y'all five Jonas's screenshots. Yay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I put them all out there. Ah, <laughs> uh, I really like this so far. Yeah, oh, this it's game's awesome. great. It is super, super good. Already? Yeah, I gotta get going. But uh, okay. it was a very fun. I hope everybody enjoyed it. It was awesome. Hope yeah. you enjoyed uh, the detective work we've done tonight. <laughs> and did we? Did we screw up the kids' lives? I don't think. Probably not. 
Not any more than uh, they were already I mean, screwed up. They're rich kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this game. Okay. okay. Have a good night, everybody. Good night, Hello. everybody. See you next time. Good night.